Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 8 of my Revel Lockheed PV1 Ventura build for Models for Heroes. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. In today's episode we're going to be concentrating on filling the gaps and removing all the ridges. But to be honest, there's no gaps. Just a few shallow ridges that need filling. So I'm going to be using my trusty homebrew sprue glue for these as I find that put putty tends to pop out of the ridges. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. filing done that'll be left overnight to dry now let's move on to some spraying we're going to be doing the wheels dark aluminium from Alclad I'm also using a circle template to do this as I find it so much easier but be careful of overspray now the props and back to the wheels. That's the wheels done. Now what I'm going to do is spray the areas where I'm going to be chipping. The reason I'm doing them here is this is where the ground crew would drag the fuel hose from the bowser that was used to fill the uh, aircraft's wing tanks. The ground crew would get up on the rear of the wing's lowest point as they wouldn't have to go through the prop rotation. Also, as the kite was parked tail first, the bowser would have to put the refueling nozzle up over the leading edge of the wing. So, that's where I'm going to be chipping. That's the aluminium down. Now to get the hairspray on. But remember guys, don't tell the missus. Shh. Okay, hairspray done. Now I'm going to do the yellow over the hairspray. This is where I made a cock up. When the yellow dried, it cracked. What I'd done is not allow the hairspray enough time to dry. So I tried to rectify it by painting the yellow on, but it came out even worse. So I ended up stripping the paint all the way back to the plastic and started again. Ho hum. Now we're on to doing the bomb banding.
the bomb banding done. Right, going back to when I sprayed the innards of the wheels, remember I said to watch out for overspray when doing it? Well, I managed to do that on the black. So it's time for some cleanup of the wheels. There we go, that's the wheels all cleaned up. Now we're going back to the fuselage, which has dried overnight, and we're going to get it cleaned up. So let's crack on with that. Here, I'm using a nail buffing file. These are great for doing aircraft seams. There are six steps that help you get a really nice finish on your model. They're only a couple of quid and well worth being in your arsenal. I've just noticed some of the latex has come away, so I decided to redo it. There's that done. Now we've got to leave that to dry before we can go back to sanding it. So, what to do now? Oh, I know. I'm going to mask up the bombs ready for the dark green coat. I'm going to be using flexi tape here due to the angles on the bombs. So let's crack on. This was proving to be a right royal pain in the proverbial. Then I had a light bulb moment and remembered a little trick using assorted rubber washers. So here goes. There we go, that's the seals on the bombs. No, not in a Dr. Strangelove way. Anyway, onto spraying up the inside of the top turret perspex and the supports for the bomb bay doors. Right, that's those parts done. Now let's deal with the bombs and give them their dark green coats.
there we go that's the bombs with our coats on now to fill in some more of those ridges with my home brew sprue glue There we go, there's that lot done. Now we'll just pop it to one side, let it dry. This also seems like a good place to end, so thank you for watching episode 8. If you want to see what happens in episode 9, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment, ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>